say how humbled I am uh, by the church's trust in me and um, and to just say that, that, that all through this whole long process, which has been an extreme blessing in my life, I have been saying, God's spirit will work in God's ways and, and will guide the church. And so I just sort of let go of the outcome. And now this is the outcome. And it's um, surprising. Uh, and, and I'm just trying to really hang on to, OK, so this is what the church has discerned. and so. I, I am, I'm honored, and I'm humbled, and I, uh, well, I look forward to the next three years and what that will be. If anybody had any doubt before this general council, it is absolutely clear. Uh, we are headed into unchartered territory, and on the one hand, there are many, many who are who are on the journey with tremendous hope and excitement and delight about new beginnings. And there are many, many, many on this journey who are struggling and in pain at the process of letting go. How do you plan to navigate and to lead the United Church of Canada in navigating through this territory that is still taking shape? My understanding of ministry and my role as a minister is to accompany people, to sojourn with them. And so um, people, as you say, will be in all kinds of different places on the journey. Some will be in a, a time of lament. Uh, some will be in a time of panic. Some will be in a time of celebration and excitement. And so my intention would be to, to journey with folks where they are um, and to remind us of that our, the stories of our faith teach us that God is with us on our journey wherever we are, that God's people have throughout our history lamented, panicked, been devastated, had hopes that sometimes came to life and that sometimes were dashed, but always God was in that. And always God worked with that and through that and with them and through them to bring to life God's hope, God's vision, God's new thing. And so I think when we can remember that we are still on that journey with God and God is still on that journey with us, that, that we will all find the courage and the hope to take the next step from wherever we are. That is my hope. So as you accompany people in this church and as you open yourself to where they are and how they're reacting. What's going to keep you focused? What's going to keep you anchored over the next three years? Thank you for that question, because that has been, for me, um, one of the biggest gifts of this whole discernment time and, and this journey of getting to here, um, is that I realized before I ever accepted the nomination that if that I, that I needed to make sure that I was as spiritually grounded as I could be. And so um, I, have, I have committed myself to a practice of daily centering prayer, and um, which has just sort of blossomed in me into something I never could have imagined, for which I am so grateful, uh, and, and has, has been what's kept me grounded through this whole process, and is a pro is, is a spiritual practice, which I know I will need and to which I am absolutely committed. It's, it's been probably the biggest gift for me in all of this, is that, that gift in my life of that practice. Um, so that's, that's a, the main thing. And then this community of people holding me to account, reminding me what my best self looks like and when they're not seeing it and calling me back to it, I, I will rely on our community to accompany me and remind me um, what good ministry looks like. Thank you.